Hello everyone. I hope you've had a lovely Christmas day and eaten well. I know most of you would have had the traditional roast turkey with all the trimmings and there are bound to be leftovers so I thought I would give you my tips on how to use them. Firstly we have the roasted potatoes, parsnips, carrots, so whatever you have left over all you need to do is tip them into a baking tray and if you have any leftover cherry tomatoes you could do that just add that to the tray and um, even leftover uh, Brussels sprouts or uh, tender stem broccoli so all you need is my chili and ginger sauce if you have a jar of my chili and ginger sauce that would be fab so this is what you do just add drizzle some of the sauce all over the roasted vegetables you could sort of mix it around a little bit and then you just put it in a hot oven 180 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes until the vegetables are hot and the sauce is caramelized and you'll get a delicious new dish to, which is perfect to, to, as an accompaniment for roasted meats, leftover turkey. So another dish that I would like to show you is um, a tom yum soup, uh, which is um, a delicious Thai soup that you could have as a snack or a lunch or a starter uh, for Boxing Day. Now, I've got, you don't have any leftover turkey scraps, you make a stock with them by uh, adding a celery, carrots and a bit of ginger and then bring it to the boil. And when you have a, a, a turkey stock or a vegetable stock, um, we're going to make the soup with it. So this is um, some vegetable stock that I've got and I'm just going to add some leftover turkey, um, which is going to be just shredded into tiny pieces. Add that to the soup. Some button mushrooms which have been sliced and then a spoonful of the red curry paste. Now it's got lemongrass and lime leaves, it's all the ingredients that goes into a tom yum soup so you wouldn't need to add any fresh ones. If you have any frozen lime leaves in the freezer you could just Add a few leaves to that as well and then bring it to the boil a squeeze of lemon fresh lemon juice is all you need to give it the sour flavor and then if you if you're using a stock that is not salty enough, then you just add a, little, a drizzle of fish sauce and then taste until you're happy with the combination of hot and sour flavours. No, that's perfect. You could add a little bit more lemon juice if you want to. And there you have it. That's my bring it to the boil and when you have hot soup you just pour it into a, a dish and sprinkle some fresh coriander leaves and it's a delicious tom yum soup now if you have any extra coconut milk, you could also add that to the soup, uh, which will make it a tom kha kai, um, which is a creamier soup. But um, if you want a clear soup, then this is the tom yum soup. So this is a, a really easy and quick dish to serve up. Now, the next dish uh, that I would like to show you is um, an easy recipe to make a Thai curry, which is a turkey curry with a Penang curry paste, a Nonya Secrets Penang curry paste. So the Nonya, cur 
secret Penang curry paste as you know it's already been fried and, and seasoned so all you need to do you don't need any oil just bring it put it into a, a saucepan add it to the turkey add your coconut milk And then just add your shredded turkey. So I'm just going to cut the turkey into big chunks. And some bamboo shoots now this is just an optional ingredient I just like the crunchiness that um, bamboo shoots bring to the dish but if you have any leftover uh, red pepper in the fridge or monge too you could add that as well and just bring this to the boil and when the meat is hot and um, it's all bubbling away for about 10 minutes you've got yourself a curry as simple as that um, and obviously do have a little taste and if you find that it's not hot enough then you could always add a tiny bit more curry paste so I've only used about a couple of spoonfuls in this recipe because all I've got is 200 grams of leftover turkey meat but this should be enough to feed um, two, two hungry people and just cook some steamed rice and you have a delicious curry so let me just show you transfer it into a serving dish and then you could garnish it with some shredded lime leaves if you have any in the freezer it's always useful to have frozen lime leaves in the freezer as um, you could it lasts for a long time and it saves you hunting around for fresh lime leaves when you need to make a curry. And just garnish it with some red chilies which will just give it a bit of colour. These are not terribly hot because they are um, sort of um, a variety that they look, they look quite um, attractive and you'll use it as a garnish. So there you have it, that's my Panang turkey curry. Thank you very much and have a lovely uh, Boxing Day and enjoy the rest of your Christmas festivities.